I am nature's rage! All right, so step one, basically, get to this guy. He gives you a really easy quest. You just have to go talk to the guy he tells you to, which means you got to go take some Zeppelins and stuff, get yourself down to Booty Bay. Then you can use this teleporter anytime you want. All you got to do is have the transponder in your bags, which brings me to do not ever destroy the transponder. It's really important. You want to keep that forever and leave it in your bags because you need this to use the teleporter. So, I am now on Gadgets as you can see here, and I'm going to go down to the transponder. Do, 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 do some hops, and then get on the transponder. Of course, this will teleport me instantly to Alliance territory. So, I'm going to pop into cat form. Um, now, now, incidentally, uh, it's pretty safe. I've only seen an ally here one time, and he only attacked me because he had a full group. Uh, you know, uh, I think at least two or three of them are 60s. Um, in general, you won't be attacked, even if there are alliance here. It's actually really, really safe. Um, most of these mobs won't even see you because they're so low level. I'm just going to kind of sprint across here, LOL. Um, these guys up here stealth because they sometimes they're in tight enough packs. But anyways, just follow this path I just took. And then right there is the door. Now, if I just pull up Atlas. So if Atlas is thing I do. There we go. Atlas. And I don't know why it's got everything in the world. LOL. I want this one. I want no more god. Entrance. Okay. So you're going to teleport right about here where this number two is. And you're going to kind of stealth along like this and make a right turn here, make a left turn here. This little pad here is like a little engineering event thing you can do. It's kind of cool, but unrelated to the, what we're doing. And you just stealth across this platform here, and then C is the back door to Nomergon, i.e., this. Now, hopefully you remember to save the key when you did Nomergon at low level because it's really handy. Uh, if you don't have it, you just kill the Electrocutioner, who's just a boss in Nomergon. But anyways, just open the door, and there's the entrance right there. We'll go inside and get our Palmer farm started. So then you get yourself into Nomergon, and we'll just kind of put this on fast forward, so you'll just stealth through the whole thing, etc., etc. Watch out for that guy. And booyah! Got a pummeler, a little victory dance. Alright, the idea now is log out, and then have your friend, who hopefully is leader of the group, reset the dungeon for you. And once that's done, you simply log back in, and then you'll be right back at the entrance to Nomergon, and we can start the farm all over again. Alright guys, I'm sorry to do this to you, but we're just going to run some quick math here, right? So, it takes two and a half minutes to get all the way through Nomergon and kill the guy and loot him. So that means that in a five uh, instance reset per hour, you know, you're only going to spend 12 and a half minutes of real time for that full lockout. Um, that's being a limiting factor. Like if you could do more resets per hour, you could farm these things faster. So I suggest you just basically farm them before work or school every day, assuming that you do that five days per week. Then if there's a 33.3 repeating, of course, chance to drop every time you farm the guy means that you have five resets with a third of a chance to drop at five days per week, which works out to, promo please, 8.3 pummelers per week is what you're going to get. Um, that, that's surprisingly, you actually use quite a few of those per week, which means what I suggest when you're getting started, um, you know, when you have no pummelers at all, you need to build up a little reserve. What I would do is I would do five runs before work and five runs after work. So if you do that, some quick math tells you you get about 16 to 17 pummelers every week doing this. And I'd keep doing this every week until you build up a horde of at least 30 of these things. You want to be sitting on a nice big pile of them. So, in summary, you know, just to make this totally clear, right, what you want to start by doing is farm pummelers like cray-cray. Just farm these things like absolutely crazy, right, to get tons of them. 
build up a nice little hoard of these things, all right? Then once you've done that, profit, guys, right? You're going you're gonna to be loved by your guild. You'll be getting lots of threat. You know, you're going to be awesome. Anyways, thanks for watching my vid. Appreciate it. Peace out, guys.